Just now, new reaction to a stunning report from the U.N. revealing that North Korea recently delivered 50 tons of materials to Syria, material to be used in a chemical weapons program. From the State Department, Heather Nauer, spokeswoman, back with us. And Heather, good morning to you, and thank you for being here now. Hi, Bill. My pleasure. What will we do about this? Well, uh, first of all, let me say that this report has still not officially been released yet. It's a United Nations report, but the contents of that report aside, this goes to show how desperate North Korea is to try to find any way possible to get money for its illegal nuclear and ballistic missile weapons programs. Uh, we have seen North Korea result to slave labor, result to selling weapons and other things that they should not sell all around the world. And this is exactly why we continue to pursue our campaign administration-wide of maximum pressure. And that's to put the squeeze and try to choke off the money supply that goes into North Korea. This is another example of how will, how desperate North Korea is to try to get additional so, money. Officially, the U.S. government's yeah. not confirming that U.N. report. That's what I heard. We then. can't just but yet. This is something that we expect the U.N. It? We are uh, certainly taking a look at this. This is something we keep a very close eye on. All of North Korea's illicit programs that it is involved with around the world. The totality of the U.S. government keeping a very close eye on this. Um, there were more reports about chemical weapons use. I know you know this as well, and we remember the red line. Russia denies all this, by the way. Yeah. What is the administration's position on the possibility of another perhaps military strike in Syria, if all this is confirmed? Yeah, that's one of those things that we won't confirm. We're not going to say that we're going to do something uh, specific like that. But we can say that Russia and Syria will be held responsible for its chemical weapons attacks on innocent civilians in eastern Ghouta. As a mother, as an American, I have seen and we have all seen the horrific activities on the part of the regime of Bashar al-Assad. Russia continues to prop up that regime. Russia years ago had committed as a guarantee Tour, that it would help Syria get rid of its chemical weapons, Russia failed to do so. So we saw over the weekend the United Nations Security Council, backed by 15 countries unanimously, that included the United States, agree to try to hold them accountable for those actions. We are calling for a ceasefire, a, a ceasefire throughout the country of Syria. There are a few exceptions to that ceasefire. That's one of the things that we're pushing ahead with right mm -hmm. now and hope that Syria will agree to that and that we, Russia will help. Uh, we're getting this word from the Pentagon, too, that Iran yeah. has set up another military base a few miles outside of Damascus. One of the last military bases was taken out by the Israelis. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the State Department's reaction on this? Sure. Uh, we've certainly seen that report as well. That is nothing new. We have long known that Iran is involved in malign activities all around the world, and that's exactly why this administration... What, what let, me, let me just finish, Bill. That's exactly why this administration broadened its approach to Iran. We no longer look at our relationship relationship or our, our focus on Iran just about the nuclear program. We look at all the bad activities that Iran is involved with around the world, including funding Hezbollah, including sending weapons and material into Syria. It is something that has to stop and the world is paying attention to that. Um, over the last couple of minutes, we've talked about North Korea and Iran yeah. and Syria. And you mentioned Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia is the common thread behind all three, correct? Well, Russia and Iran and some other bad actors around the world, and that's exactly why we keep a close eye on this. But it's Putin, right? Well, it's I mean, Moscow. Pu Putin runs that's the country. Propping, propping up so, all three. So Would that you is agree? certainly part of it. Yes, exactly. Russia is doing that. We will hold Russia to account for its bad activities, including what it is doing in propping up Bashar al-Assad and allowing the killing of innocent civilians in Syria. Did the Olympics? change anything uh, with regard with to regard what to our, North our Korea or, or our China policy or of wanting denuclearization for the Korean Peninsula continues the Olympics has not changed anything it was certainly a positive development that North Korea and South Korea were willing and able to talk but our policy has not changed that peninsula needs to be denuclearized we recognize the global and worldwide threat of North Korea when North Korea an unstable regime has access to nuclear and ballistic uh, advanced weapons. That is a concern not just of the United States, but many nations around the world. And that's why we continue with the maximum pressure uh, I'm campaign. Al I'm almost out of time here. Sure. Jared Kushner, mm -hmm. um, 
How does his downgrade in the West Wing affect diplomacy around the world with regard to the job that you do and Rex Tillerson does? Yeah, so I, I can tell you this. Uh, in terms of security clearances, that is something that I can't comment on uh, from this position at the State Department. But overall, I can tell you that the State Department works very closely with Mr. Kushner and others at the White House to advance one of the president's top priorities, and that is Middle East peace. So I can tell you the pressure will not come off Middle East peace. That is a top priority for us, and we expect Mr. Kushner to continue his work on that. It's a, something very important to the president. Well, so no change on that front, correct? I can't see any change on the importance of that or his work on that issue. Thank you for your time today. All right, Bill. Appreciate Great to see you. It. Heather Nauer, yeah, thanks, thanks from the State Department.